Hello and welcome back to the Forgotten City. Let's oh, let's talk to stranger. Everyone's a stranger until we know their name. Hello. This is awkward. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Mm -hmm. What's your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Like what? I'm not from around really? here. I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Because I started this conversation? Do you know where you are on the... Way out, no. What do you think about the Golden Rule? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Oh, well. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's best if you don't go insulting them? Oh, I'd say it to their faces if they had the courage to show themselves. Did you of hear course. That? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, if there's no blasphemy, doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. That's also a possibility. Oh, I suppose we will find so out sooner or later. Mm, I suppose we will. You know, way out of here. Oh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped, and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's no? a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? When did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. Was she seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. We really like facial expressions in this game. Fantastic. Your father didn't mention any of this when I spoke to him. Any idea why? That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Is it possible that her lover was involved? I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Okay, her upper lip is somewhat <laughs> straight. Sentia, 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 why are your names also similar? Because they're from the same you house! Really from here, are you? <sighs> All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. Look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Why? Because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you are. You do know something. You're not telling me. Oh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. It's your father's villa. 
Also ich weiß nicht. Well, I will count your rooms. I think these should be. Oh no 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 no! Stealth. So that unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation. But one must probably regard that as their servant's problem. Yeah. They are diary. Today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but don't think me stupid. We're all, we're all entitled to our secrets. Cynthia. Small file containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. A brass jar containing some sort of powder for makeup. Yep. Smell. No, I'm not gonna steal. Oh, God damn it! I'm not gonna steal that money. Why would I? Something else. Room ink jar. A pen. Good piece. Thing. No, I'm not gonna press escape again. Can I? <gasps> Cynthia, to Sentius and Cynthia, may Clementia give you the strength to forgive me. I am sorry to have to leave you this way, but I have found a way to escape and I must take it. I hope we'll meet again, someday. Um... Cynthia? Cynthia? Do I need to ask Horatius to escort you out of here? Get out, you horrid barbarian! Fine. Possibly her sister did find out the way out of here. Where did she go? Oh, there you are. Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? Um, I was hoping to ask you some questions. Ask them. Okay, never mind. Now, was there something else you wanted to discuss? Mm, what's your story? Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name, though magistrate is the proper way to address me. Before I wound up here, I was a decurion in the cavalry of Imperial Rome. Helping protect civilization from the barbarians. What's a decurion? It's a cavalry officer. I had 30 men under my command. This was my uniform. Are you still wearing it? As magistrate, I usually wear a toga. But today, I may need to survive long enough to create the portal for you. So, it seemed prudent. How did you end up here? My men and I were at the Emporium in Rome as honor guard for a visiting dignitary arriving upriver by barge. Now the port is usually bustling, but just as our guests arrived, waves of people began running toward the river from streets and alleyways in every direction. They were trying to escape a terrible fire. Unfortunately, the crowd sent my horse into a panic and I remember it losing its footing by the water's edge. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on a riverbank not far from here in the company of some stranger. I went looking for my horse and discovered that lonely temple. You can probably figure out the rest. How did you come to be ma magistr magistrate? I was elected seven months ago, uncontested because of my command experience. Since then, there's been growing agitation for another election. They're supposed to be annual, but I agreed to hold it sooner, hoping it would placate my constituents. Unfortunately, it just seems to have emboldened certain elements instead. Okay. Very well. Do you know a way out of here? If I did, I'd have led these people out of here already. 
Okay, never mind. What do you think about the golden rule? I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me see if I can sum up my thoughts. I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of the Roman people. Our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dishonor them and we all die. It's as simple as that. The real the enemy in this just. place is not the golden rule, but human failings. The temptation to slide into degeneracy, greed, and hubris. I trust that answers your question. I still don't trust you. Can we talk about who's going to break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? Mm. No, no, no. What is it you say? Oh, it doesn't matter. I know. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Yeah, I'd better get back to it. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. So maybe it was... it's the younger daughter. Please don't. Hello? The gladiator. What were you two talking about? Um, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, he's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. We weren't talking about the election. What else would you be murmuring about on election day? Mark my words, Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. And if I tell him you've sided with that feeble old has-been, that you've been trying to undermine his hard-won victory, you'll have picked the wrong patron. Got it? I don't care about the election. Good, then stay out of it. Nobody likes Caput Murday foreigners interfering in an election. Fine, mind if I ask some that questions? Thank you. What's your story? My name's Domitius. You want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. Why are you dressed like a gladiator? Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. Oh, fair enough. Do you know a way out of here? When Maliolus wins the election, yeah? This place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. What do you think about the golden rule? I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it once he's elected. Okay, you're just simply a moron. Um, how is he going to do that? He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. Mm, why can't you tell me now? Because if I tell you and it gets out, it'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. Can I help in some way? We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. What are you going to f- Maliolus, of course. <laughs> of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own daughter, how can we trust him to protect us? No, I'd like to meet Maliolus. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... No. You don't look like you could afford it. Afford what? I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man, and this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Yes, and? Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. What? what? Isn't soliciting bribe a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a, a tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. I'll see what I can do. Just make it good. Uh, I'll be Whatever. going now. Just remember, I'll be watching. What are you doing? Yes. Don't just another little sim excrement, different smell. Uh, 
Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Uh, why? No, yes, what? Told you about Hannibal. No. Uh, why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Yep. Funny accent. He used to go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body sprawled out on the ground. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. What did you do? Well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Uh, yeah, I'm still going down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. It's not like I trust you. Oh. Do not enter the cistern. Yeah, who cares? What bad can happen? We'll die, and that's all. Maybe I'll save. <laughs> Just for good measures. If it's dark, don't you me If it's dark in there, I'm. The dork started barking in the hallway. Just as it, the system loaded up. Whoops. Wait, what? Oh, he's cold then. I can like this? I don't think we can kill him like this. Yeah, but he might have been right. So we do need a weapon. Okay, I saw that creature. Where are you? I need to talk. Hey, you. Can you lend me a weapon? Couldn't stay away, huh, lovely? Um. Whatever. Just remember, I'll be watching. Seriously, I can't confront him about that. Well, at least we know what it was. Kinda. So, what we do know is that those statues all used to be people. At least I think that's that's what happened here. Each one of them was a real person. Who was that? Rufius. Better watch your step. Okay, so it was you. What's your story? I can't talk long. Got to stay sharp. But, uh, and why do you have solution on Tigris, Russian accent? Babylon province. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. Okay, so Russian accent. No, no. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. No, it's back. Uh, why are you still wearing your legendary armor? Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? Can I have your weapon? Why don't you have a... Oh. Why don't you have a weapon? Mm. Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Right. You have to improvise now. 
Not much of a talker, are you? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. What are you dealing with? None of your business. In Troy, the Ipsum come in Shula. Oh, I don't like that. Let's see what the fuck? Nope. If we have to. You know, wait. Uh, do you know a way out of here? If I did, do you think we'd be having this conversation? What do you think about the golden rule? Hmm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Do you mean? I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Well, we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. I think you're right. Of course I am. Who are you going to vote for? Meliolus. Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect I us? think she went to Cicern. Nothing I can do to change that. No. Okay, fine. We're what going the... now. That's so... Oh, butterflies. Why are you here? I don't know why food you sent me here. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think it's already been said. Who sin? Oh, Krishya. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Yulia. She was a good woman. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her. Or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Is there something I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric Kamfututo and scratching his eyes out. Uh, I'll see what I can do about that. What's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. 
I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. Um, sorry to hear that. It's alright. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Why are you walking out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. What about Nivia? Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Oh, I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. Mm. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. I'll see what I can do about that as That's well. Nice. Do you know a way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. What do you think about the golden rule? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Keep hearing the statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. Thanks. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. Oh, tell, tell me more about her. Well, she used to run the clinic. Yep. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had oh, down yeah, here. Yeah, we know that. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost yeah, all interest in Yeah, we've heard that. One day she took... This changes everything. The last time I saw her, and then she shut... She's been gone so long now, but I really wish I could reach... One of my patients is suffering. Okay, go on. He's become so irritable that the smallest... Yep. I just know Navia would... Mm, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, okay. I suppose. Uh, can I talk about Yulia? Sure. What do you want to know? <laughs> do you think she was poisoned or was self infected? Do you really want to know? Yep. I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule. And so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. 
You know who what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Is there any reason why she might have wanted to I die? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas's villa. And they are quite secretive. Ma okay, his villa. Let's talk about some of them. Uh, well, I guess this is come it. Come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Yeah, you just told me you don't want to see. Okay. Uh. It's not barbaric. It was fine for the time. Fine. Large stone statue of Apollo, the woman and great talk of god of disease and healing, among, among other things. May Apollo keep you safe. He is dead. Oops. Could you use one of those so I could hit that golden skeleton? Head. Ooh, then to be pulled apart into wedges. That appears to be fairly available to anyone who wants it. Thank you. Oh, there's something. Roman I've seen four bread. You go if you ever want to try Roman bread. Maybe I will. Ah. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to you, Leah. But we just have to carry on, don't we? Oh, I just noticed there's, we are over, over 40, 30 minutes. So for now, thank you very much, and we'll talk to Decius the next time. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!